<laughs> We're here in Aceh right now, and this is a special place like for us, you know, it means survival for one thing, our language, our culture. I heard a lot of stories from Dad, you know, when he was hunting. Like he knew, he knew the woods like back of his hand when he, whenever he caught All it. All of us did actually. Yeah. I used to go around this place maybe once or twice a week, the whole, all the way around. I knew it by heart. Back in our days, you know, like whenever the elders uh, spoke about uh, the land here, each place had a name of his own. Like here would be Asik, and then where the bridge is, is would be Asigwanik, and then Sidimok is... Uh, Asigwanjish. Asigwanjish, yeah. yeah. Used to be a bridge here one time, and the water was going fast, and uh, the boys would jump off the bridge. Wow. <laughs> yeah, go with the go with the the funnel, and then they would pop up about 50 yards down. Wow! Road. Yeah. And then along here, <clears throat> this is where Grandma used to take us all along here, right around the corner there, and uh, they had cranberries grown there, and she would show us all these different types of medicines, you know, that used to grow there, and uh, we would pick them for her. I never would have thought it was this big. No. You see maps and, you know, pictures, but this, this is different. Well, the majority of people, you know, from, you know, from the community never even seen this yet, uh, you no. know, what a, what a loss. Uh. You know, hopefully someday when when it can get it cleaned up, this will be all all be usable again. Huh? Yeah. Then we could really go swimming in here. Yeah. <laughs>